it's Billy and today I'm going to be showing you 10 things to do that are somewhat creative <laughs> on a snow day so these are things that aren't the super super obvious ones like going out and building a snowman I don't know but I've just compiled a list of 10 things that I think are somewhat fun or creative different things to do on a snow day that you might enjoy that maybe you haven't thought of doing that can you that can you can what's the word I'm looking for that you can use all this free time that you have now on so um also I'm wearing my glasses today so um you guys probably haven't seen me with my glasses on before um I definitely haven't worn them in a video yet but I just thought I'd throw that up there and I did my hair a little bit different today so tell me what you think about it it was um kind of just because I was super lazy and didn't actually dry it and yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so the first thing I have for you to do on a snow day is read now I know I know I know most of us don't like to read okay I get that but I I see you mean money me okay I see you I know you don't like to read but most of us, or some of us at least, probably have to read to get a grade in school. I know at my school, you have to read to get a grade, and if you don't read, you get an F. And I don't know about you, but I'm not going to take an F because I didn't read. Like, that's just lazy. So, I've compiled a list of a few books that maybe would motivate you to read. I know um, reading is especially no fun if you hate the book you're reading. So, maybe if you love the book you're reading, you would be more inspired to read. I know if I am in love with the book that I'm reading, then I want to read. But if I don't like it, then there's no way I'm going to read it. Like, you know, why would I waste my time doing something that I'm miserable doing? So, um, the book I'm reading right now is called My Little Phony, and it's a click series book. I believe it's the 14th book. I could be wrong on that. I don't know, but I think it's the 14th book. And I'm almost done with the series, and I love these books so much. I'm trying to, like, savor them and take them slowly because I don't want this series to be over. It's a perfect, like, fluff book. That's what my mom calls them. Like, a chick flick in book form. The and second thing you can do if you are bored on a snow day is create an outfit catalog. Now, I did this a while back, but I really need to do another one because I've already worn all the outfits that I logged. So basically what an outfit catalog is, or what it is to me at least, is when you go through your closet and you put together outfits that you love that you probably don't really wear. Like what I did was took the pieces that I wanted to make a point of wearing and then I would find things to go with them that if I were just looking through my closet in the morning I probably wouldn't pick to go with it, you know? And that was how I made my outfits look the way I actually wanted them to. Because I know in the morning when I wake up and I have to pick out my outfit right then, I don't come up with anything creative or inventive at all. Like, and once I took, once I put together those outfits, I took pictures of them on my phone and then just made a separate album in my phone called Outfit Catalog. And then you put all your outfit pictures in there and then when you're getting ready for school, Pull out your phone, you can cruise through and say, hey, I want to wear that today. And then you just pick it out and it's like somebody already picked out your outfits for you. So, that is the second thing I would say you could do on this snow day. And I think mine took me probably a good, like, two hours. And I know that's kind of crazy, but I took put together probably around 20 outfits. So, that's definitely something I would suggest doing. Another idea I have for a snow day is a spa day. So, this would just be something for you to totally pamper yourself. I have my favorite philosophy body gels that I use as a bubble bath and sugar scrub. And then also some of my favorite masks. All of these will be listed in the description box. 
idea for what you can do on this snow day is make an inspiration board. So this is just a canvas that I started on, gosh, like two years ago, and I literally never finished. Decided that I can just cover this little guy up because, um, what else am I going to do with it? I'm never going to finish it, and I don't like how it is, so I'm just going to redo it. So, I have gotten together lots of magazines um, that I'm not afraid to cut up. Um, I got some scissors, some Elmer's glue, and some Mod Podge, and get to work. So, um, you don't even need the Elmer's glue if you've got enough Mod Podge to use on the back sides of your clippings and the fronts to coat them but maybe you don't like me so i'm going to use elmer's glue on the back sides now if you don't have a canvas you have some poster board that would work or if you just have cork board that would work great too and then you could just pin it on there and you could take it off as your inspiration changes i don't have that either so if you don't then my last option would be just to take regular old paper or you could get something like a shopping bag that's got a little bit of durability to it, like maybe a Hollister bag or something, and just cover that because then it's a little bit sturdier than just regular old paper. And then I would continue to completely collage this. My fifth idea is something a little more basic and not so super creative, but it is online shop. Now, this is inspired by my friend McCaw, you guys probably saw her in my beauty this or that tag if you watch that video and if not make sure to go watch it um she's got her own channel here on youtube too where we did the whisper challenge but macaw online shops like no one i know like seriously i <laughs> every time i get a text message it's pretty much her showing me where she's online shopping i'm not even kidding she's redoing her room right now and I keep getting text messages saying which one, and it's like, this tapestry or this tapestry? And I mean, seriously, I'm sure she has spent her life savings on this online shopping spree that has been going on for about four days now. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. And it's a great thing to do when you've got so much time and no one telling you, no, you don't need that like I've been trying to do to McCall because she's seriously going to be broke if she keeps spending all this money. My next idea is to binge watch your favorite YouTubers. Here I am watching a Juicy Star 07 video that I love. These are so much fun and of course I'm eating my favorite snack, some trolley bright crawlers. So my seventh idea for you guys to do on Snow Day is called a mix book. Now, this is an online website where you can go on and you can join for free. And you basically create your own digital scrapbook slash yearbook. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was introduced to this by one of my favorite teachers. And um, she thought it was something that I might enjoy to do because... I love to scrapbook and I also like technology so I thought it'd be fun to share this with you guys um, it's completely free to join and then once you make your own book you can buy it so you know I personally could sit down and spend hours doing something like this I know it's not for everybody because everybody's not really very techy or very creative or interested in that kind of thing but I think they make great gifts and it would be really fun to start one when you had so much time to do anything with. My eighth idea is to watch some of your favorite movies. I'll have a list of some of my favorite movies listed down in the description box. This one particularly is John Tucker Must Die. Nine for things you can do on a snow day is kind of like a you do something and then I do something back. I don't know. Um, you can send me in questions for a Twitter Q and A. I think I'm going to have an Ask Jelly Bean XO here in a few within the next couple weeks, I think. But you can send in some questions that you'd like me to answer, and I'm also going to have some questions that I want you to answer. So it's just kind of like. I don't know, some kind of quiz that 
you might have fun with. And you can send me in your answers if you want to, but I will just have all those questions down in the description bar, along with all other products that I've mentioned in this video. But make sure to check out my description bar on every video because I've got some information in there that you might want to see. So, to look down right there for all the questions that I'm asking you, and make sure to tweet or Instagram me your questions for my Twitter Q&A video. Then for number 10, my idea for something you can do on a snow day is have a girls day. Now of course if you are like actually snowed in or the roads are really dangerous, don't try to have a girls day. That's not very smart. But if it's just kind of like you're still out of school, the roads really aren't that bad, or maybe you got a snow day kind of for no reason, like they thought it was going to snow, but it didn't, then you could have a girls day. Now. I'm not going to go through everything you can do on a girl's day. I will just put a link to my Valentine's Day video. And that will either be in the description box if you don't see it right here. And if you do see it right here, then it's right here. But um, you can just watch my Valentine's Day video, which I realize is something that I filmed for Valentine's Day. But it's basically just a girl's day and it's nothing too extravagant or too different. It's that's what I would do if I'm having a complete girl's day. I would do the same thing I would do on Valentine's Day. So that is my last idea for a study. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. But if you have any video requests, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I've got a few videos I'm planning on doing and filming this week. Uh, to get up for you guys, but I would always love new input and new ideas. So, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well to stay updated with anything that involves my channel. You can be more involved in the Jelly Bean family. What the heck was that? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to stay tuned to see my new video that will be out on Sunday. Bye, guys. Sleeping? I don't know. Waste. Also, I I'm wearing. What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. This is old. This is so stinking old. I'm borrowing one from my brother-in-law right now. I have my own and then I am borrowing one of his right now. Which I'm sure he's thrilled about. Um, or over here, I don't know. It's cool, it's cool, it's chill, okay?